Well, hello everyone, it's Bill here again, and I'd like to formally welcome you to Crack a Cup of Challenge 9. Ah, oh, what's, what's contained in the, uh, in the Cracker Cup today? Oh, it's the, uh, it's the root tame. Well then, before we get into the meaning of the root tain, we'd better make sure that we are ready with two sharp pencils or a pen. You'll need a whiteboard marker and your word cracker whiteboard that uh, contains room for prefixes, suffixes, bases and roots. <laughs> You're going to need your word cracker recording sheet and a writing book which will later contain your cool story with as many tain words as you can think of. All right, so let's get on to the meaning of the root tain. Tain means to hold. Tain means to hold. Can you please turn to your partner and in a full sentence take turns telling each other that tain means to hold. Excellent word. So let's have a look at some words that contain the root tain. So obviously we've got container there and containers come in all shapes and sizes. They can have really big containers that go on ships and carry cargo between countries or tiny little containers that hold water. Oh, entertainment. There's, there's my favourite entertainer right there, Robbie Williams. So uh, to entertain is to hold someone's attention. Um, so you hold people when you entertain them. Oh, and of course, we've got another one, to maintain. So to maintain is to keep something or hold something in its original condition. So contain is to hold something in or together. To entertain is to hold somebody's attention. And to maintain is to hold something in its original condition. All right, so let's make some more words. And uh, we'll also write these ones. So we'll fire up the online cracker. Here we go. Here we go, right, so let's go to, uh, let's choose all morpheme mode and blow our screen up. All right, so we'll bring down our root today and turn our meanings on as well. So tain means to hold. So the first word we're going to use contains a chameleon prefix. So we're going to bring down prefix sub which can mean below or under, and we'll just scroll through until we... Uh, there we go. We've, first word is to sustain. So if you sustain something, you hold it up uh, from underneath usually. So there's something to do around holding from underneath or supporting. Uh, so that's our sus um, below or under. So to sustain is to hold up from underneath to bear the weight of or to keep someone or something going. So can you please, on your cracker, write the word sustain and chin it for your teacher. Excellent job. Now we're going to change over prefixes and we're looking for prefix re. There we go. And on all of a sudden, we have retain. Now you can see the meaning of re, which is again all back. So to retain something is to hold back or to keep back. A bit like the word to restrain. So if we retain, we hold back. Now, if you've ever had braces, after your braces came off, you needed to wear a retainer, which held your teeth in the right position after your braces came off. So can everyone please write retain on their cracker uh, or their whiteboard and chin it for their teacher? All right, we're burning through the prefixes today because we're going to bring down prefix ob and the word we've now got is obtain. So to obtain something is to take possession of or take possession over. So if you have a look at the meaning of prefix ob, you can see the word over in, the, in those lists of words in their meaning. So to obtain is to take possession over something. Can you please write obtain on your whiteboard and chin it for your teacher? All right, we're going for another prefix now. So if we bring down prefix D, we end up with the word detain. Now to detain is to hold off or keep away. So if someone is detained in prison, they are kept away from the rest of society. 
So if you have a look at the whole idea of keeping away, it can also be to do with keeping down. So away and down kind of have a similar meaning. And I'm using the word down because it's in our definition in prefix D. So to detain is to hold off or keep away or hold down. So can you please write detain on your whiteboard and chin it for your teacher? All right, and for our last word, we actually have to create our prefix. So we're going to bring down abs, uh, and we now have abstain. Now, abstain means to hold oneself back from something. So sometimes people decide to abstain from looking at their phones for a while, to hold themselves back from looking at their phone. So the prefix abs, if you have a look at etymology online, that ABS prefix or abs can mean away from. Now, that's not to be confused with the stomach muscles that we call abs, but I got interested and I had a look at um, etymol etymology online and the ab in abdominals could mean to hide from view or to keep from view because it's not really manners to walk around with your abdominals showing all of the time, um, no matter how good they look. So that's, uh, that's our word. Can you please now write abstain on your cracker, making sure that your abs goes in your prefix and your tain where your roots go. Abstain, chin it for your teacher, please. All right, beautiful. Okay, so there's a fellow with excellent abs, but you know what? He's going to have to cover them up because it's not always manners, is it, to have your abs showing. Okie doke, let's move on. The bit you've been waiting for. Let's move on to Cracker Challenge Part 1. Now, teachers, like normal, you're going to decide how long your students have to write as many words as they can that contain our new root tain. And also, teacher, your job to decide whether your students can look at the, uh, the matrix for Tain whilst they do it. So you're going to need to make sure that your Cracker recording sheet is ready. Is ready. Your job is to write or construct as many words as you can with the root Tain. And teacher, start time when you are ready. Okay, excellent work, and it is scoring time. Now we need to obtain some scores from people. So teacher, you remember our protocols for quickly finding who's got the most words. There they are on screen. And also teacher, you need to decide whether you're going to use the challenge protocol. Okay, excellent work. So now we've got our words. We've built a list of words with the root tain in them. It's now time to use those in a story. So your job is to construct a story using as many of your tain words as possible. So have your recording sheet ready. Teacher, you've got two things to do. Number one, decide on how long your students have to do this task. And number two... Oh, well, before we go on, students, as you write, make sure that you are sitting upright, feet on the floor, back, back nice and straight. But back to the teacher's job. Teacher, we need to decide on a scoring regime here. So hopefully this task will be entertaining for students. Uh, teacher, can you please decide what you will be scoring inside these entertaining stories? Okay, and when your teacher is ready, students, it is your job to construct your story using as many of your Tane words as possible. Okay, folks, well done on writing your stories. Now, according to your teacher's score, uh, scoring regime, uh, can you please score your stories? And you're probably looking at the picture from Avatar and the word unobtainium next to the picture. Your job to work out what those two have to do with one another. All right, everyone. Now let's hear, this is the bit I love, let's hear some of these really cool stories, these entertaining stories with the root Tain in them. So as you hear these stories read out, let's please hear some entertaining stories, but make sure that you show respect and sustain the silence in the room while others are sharing their stories. Off you go.
Well, everyone, uh, that was our new route today, Tain, meaning to hold. Hope you had a good time. I hope this maintained your attention and sustained you. Uh, congratulations, everyone. You now have another word route to build heaps of words around um, to do with holding. So I hope you have a cracking day, everyone.